Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I am Akanksha from Psychologic and today's topic is psychological testing. This video is part of a series focused on research methods in psychology. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. So let's get into it. Psychological testing is an essential tool used in both clinical and non-clinical settings to evaluate an individual's cognitive, emotional and behavioral functioning. These tests are often utilized to diagnose psychological disorders, measure personality traits and assess an individual's intellectual capacity and achievement. There are several fundamental aspects of psychological testing that are crucial in ensuring accuracy, consistency and reliability in the data collected. These include standardization, objectivity, reliability, validity and the use of norms. Standardization refers to the practice of administering tests in a uniform manner, ensuring that the test format and administration procedures are consistent across all administrations. This includes providing clear instructions, standardized materials, and utilizing a predetermined set of scoring procedures. Standardization is important as it minimizes variability in test administration, reducing sources of error and ensuring consistency in the results. Objectivity is another critical aspect of psychological testing. Objectivity refers to the degree to which a test is free from bias and subjectivity. This means that the test results should not be influenced by personal biases and subjective interpretations of the examiner. The development of objective measures is essential to ensure that test results are reliable and valid. Reliability is a crucial component of psychological testing. Reliability refers to the consistency and stability of a test over time. A reliable test produces consistent results across multiple administrations, demonstrating that the test measures what it is supposed to measure. Reliability can be measured in various ways, including test retest reliability, inter-rater reliability, and internal consistency. Validity refers to the degree to which a test measures what it is supposed to measure. A test must be valid to ensure that the results accurately represent the construct being measured. There are different types of validity including content, criterion and construct validity. Content validity refers to the degree to which the test adequately measures all aspects of the construct being measured. Criterion validity considers the degree to which the test correlates with other measures that are deemed to be valid. And construct validity refers to the extent to which a test accurately measures the theoretical construct of interest. Norms too are a crucial component of psychological testing as they provide a basis for comparing an individual score to those of a representative sample of individuals. Norms provide information on the distribution of scores, allowing clinicians to compare an individual's performance to a group of individuals with similar characteristics. Norms are typically established based on a representative sample of individuals from the same age, gender, and cultural background as the test taker. Psychological tests are classified on the basis of their language, mode of administration, and difficulty level. Depending upon the language, we have verbal, non-verbal, and performance tests. 
Verbal tests assess verbal abilities such as language comprehension and expression. Non-verbal tests evaluate non-verbal cognitive abilities including spatial reasoning and problem solving. Performance tests measure an individual's capacity to complete specific tasks such as the ability to manipulate shapes or objects in a particular order. Depending on the mode of administration, psychological tests are divided into individual or group tests. An individual test is administered by the researcher to one person at a time, while group tests can be administered to a large number of people at the same time. In individual tests, the researcher administers the test face to face and remains seated before the test taker and notes down the responses. In a group test, the instructions about answering the items are written on the test, which the test taker reads and answers the questions accordingly. The test administrator explains the instructions to the entire group. Individual tests are time-consuming but are important ways of getting responses from children and from those who do not know the language. Group tests are easy to administer and are also less time-consuming. However, the responses have certain limitations. The respondent may not be motivated enough to answer the questions and may give fake responses. Psychological tests are also classified into speed and power tests. In a speed test, there is a time limit within which the test taker is required to answer all the items. Such a test evaluates the individual on the basis of the time taken to answer the items accurately. In a speed test, all the items are of the same degree of difficulty. On the other hand, power tests assess the underlying ability or power of the individual by allowing them sufficient time, which means that these tests do not have any time limit. In a power test, the items are generally arranged in increasing order of difficulty. For example, if a person is unable to solve the sixth item on the test, he or she will have difficulty in answering the subsequent items as well. It is however difficult to construct a pure speed or power test. Majority of tests are a combination of both speed and power. So psychological testing is a critical tool in evaluating an individual's cognitive and behavioral functioning. To ensure that the results of these tests are accurate and reliable, it is essential to employ standardized test administration procedures, minimize sources of bias, and establish valid and reliable measures. By adhering to these principles, clinicians can make accurate diagnosis and develop effective treatment plans. So that's it for today's video. If you're looking for quality mental health resources, please check out my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.